Well, good afternoon, and, and thank you all for being here. I don't think I need to remind anybody about the unprecedented and historical winter our Commonwealth has sustained this year. Over the course of 28 days between January 26th and February 22nd, vast parts of Massachusetts experienced record or near record snowfall and bitterly cold temperatures that prevented melting. There's about a 132-day period in there between the end of January and the end of February where it snowed for 25 days. The temperature rose above 32 degrees only for a couple of days, and the average temperature over that period was actually below freezing. I'm not even sure if the sun ever came out during that period either. Um, but it just speaks to the significance of both the strength and duration of the storm and the storms that we dealt with as a community over that period of time. And in fact, the Washington Post hired a climatologist and a statistician from Oklahoma to study how likely what happened in Massachusetts would be to happen again. And they studied it and concluded that it was an occurrence that would happen once every 26,512 years. So the really good news is Karen and I are pretty sure we're not going to be here when it happens again. Um, this weather pattern, as many know, crippled our transit system and created all sorts of issues for our health care systems and overwhelmed emergency and cleanup response efforts. The costs have been incurred for snow, uh, snow removal and disposal and related damages have piled up in a way no, uh, not compared to any other Massachusetts recent weather related disaster, including the 2008 ice storms sustained flooding in 2010 over the course of several weeks, and the record-setting snowfalls in 2011 and 2013. Each of those weather-related disasters were awarded a federal disaster declaration, and today we are requesting that the President offer the same consideration with regard to this historic 28-day winter weather pattern. I'd like to take a moment and thank our congressional delegation in Washington for their help before, throughout, and following this extraordinary winter. They stayed in regular contact with our administration to offer any assistance that they could, and they were instrumental in helping us to draft our request today to President Obama for a federal disaster declaration. In the weeks following the storm, MEMA has been in close contact with our municipalities, compiling and analyzing the data we need to make uh, what we know is a strong case for federal assistance. Through their efforts, we've determined that 10 counties have met the threshold for federal disaster declaration under FEMA's public assistance program. Barnstable, Bristol, Dukes, Essex, Middlesex, Nantucket, Norfolk, Plymouth, Suffolk, and Worcester. Additionally, we are requesting snow assistance for nine counties who have either met record or near record snowfall totals. Barnstable, Bristol, Dukes, Essex, Middlesex, Norfolk, Plymouth, Suffolk, and Worcester. The cost for response, cleanup, and recovery efforts has been estimated at nearly $400 million, $350 million in snow removal, and $50 million in related damages to public infrastructure. I'd remind you again that those costs come far short of anything we sustained during the federal disaster declarations that were issued in 2008, 2010, 2011, and 2013. We also understand the unique nature of our request to FEMA to declare a prolonged period of snow as a federal disaster. But taking into account the unrelenting snowfall over those 28 days and the freezing temperatures during that time that did not allow for any meaningful melt, we're confident our request meets the thresholds and circumstances to be declared as such. Should our request be granted, approximately 250 cities and towns, state agencies, and private nonprofit organizations would be eligible for a 75 percent federal reimbursement for qualifying costs, which would include snow removal and repairs to public infrastructure such as roads, bridges, piers, and seawalls that were damaged during this time. We are urging the President and FEMA to honor this request. I'd like to reiterate my appreciation for the support of our congressional delegation in our efforts and for the cooperation of our mayors, city managers, selectmen and women, and council members in our cities and towns 
as we worked our way through the storm response and in compiling the information needed to make a very compelling case. I'd also like to thank the Public Works crews and the National Guard members from Massachusetts, Maine, and Vermont, and the governors who sent them, who worked above and beyond to prepare and respond to the cleanup efforts that were necessary. And I'd also like to thank the emergency personnel and first responders who, despite conditions more challenging than normal, worked to prevent even more significant losses during this time. And finally, we'd all like to thank the people of Massachusetts for their patience during what was for all of us a very trying winter. Everyone stepped up, whether it was staying off the roads to allow our road crews to prepare appropriately, or by shoveling out fire hydrants, or helping neighbors in need, or simply giving people rides. 